Welcome to the Strategic Investor. Join us as we interview some of the world's most productive asset managers and uncover sophisticated and unique investment strategies in the markets. Here is your host, Charlie Wright. Hello and welcome to Strategic Investor Radio on OC Talk Radio. We're very pleased you've joined us today. I'm Charlie Wright, and uh, we are pleased to welcome for the very first time Dr. Paul Glantz, founder and CEO of Glantz Financial Advisors. They are creators and portfolio managers of several investment strategies and signal services used by investors and other advisory firms. He speaks to us from their headquarters in Troy. Michigan. Dr. Glantz, great to have you. Thank you for having me. So, Paul, you have a unique background for the investment industry. You never worked on Wall Street. You have two master's degrees and a Ph.D., all in engineering, mechanical and automotive engineering. You've had a successful career in engineering consulting and with uh, big car makers. And uh, you have have a love of creating investment strategies and timing signals. So, and you've uh, created timing signals that have been used by numerous tactical money managers for decades. And you have investment strategies now that you've been using where you've been using your signals for investors and advisors. So congratulations on being successful in two very diverse, different industries. We won't ask you which one is tougher, uh, but we certainly know the one you're currently in with investments is a real challenge. So give us, in your own words, a brief background of yours, will you, Paul? Yes, thank you for the introduction. Yeah, the uh, are you getting feedback? I got you on the speaker. I think I got to take you off speaker. Just yeah, take it, get, take it off the of speaker here, Paul. Okay, the I, I started uh, in engineering, as you mentioned, and after Ford and Chrysler went into an engineering consulting company where we did computer simulations, and during that time period. Uh, and actually entered uh, a stock contest and finished second place in the USA Today National Stock Contest using some of the computerized strategies. And at that point, uh, the largest uh, mutual fund in Michigan contacted me and hired us to provide timing signals to them. And so we started doing both engineering consulting and financial consulting at that point and then continued to develop our computerized models uh, for trading the uh, market. Our unique approach is that we depend heavily on the put and call volumes and use that as one of the main indicators to tell us when the market is about to change. And that works very well, but the market continues to change, and you have to continue to update your signals in a database so that uh, that becomes relevant to the current market. Back uh, when we first started it, we used it on the OEX, the S&P 100, which had options trading on it, and it worked extremely well. And since that time, Things have transitioned to the S&P 500 and the equity option market. So it became more complicated, but nevertheless, it still is our unique advantage is that we develop quantifiable, systematic computer computer codes that uh, are 100% mechanical that predict buy and sell signals for each index that we look at. And they're developed based on looking at an eight-year or ten-year look back, what that index has done in the past history, and then try to discover uh, the unique transition values for each one of those index. Each one is different. The methodology is the same, but the uh, background information is different for each one. So, Paul, as uh, many of our audience uh, may be well aware of, uh, 
tactical investing has become uh, more and more popular, especially since the meltdowns of 2000 with the dot-com bubble and then the credit crisis of 2008. And so these tactical strategies get in and out of various markets depending upon the patterns that they recognize. So what you guys have done is you have gone in with your computer models and to identify the patterns, and then you've created signals with those that, like you say, are uh, computer-based and rules-based completely, so they occur automatically. And then you have, for some decades, been selling these these signals to these tactical money managers to determine when they should be getting in and out of various markets. Is, is that how it has worked until now? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And so uh, now you have some strategies that you guys actually manage. So you provide the signals for those who would like to purchase them. And in addition to that, you actually manage money based upon those signals because you guys are financial advisors. So you offer those two services. Is that it? That's correct. But we only offer them to large firms, wealth management firms, hedge funds, mutual funds, or uh, high net worth individuals. We do not market to the small investor. Sure, sure. And, and you know, uh, people who do that kind of thing uh, really can never afford to market to the small investor. So, you're conf- you, you are on uh, two uh, platforms called Timer Track and Theta Research. And these both confirm and verify trading performance for as long as a, a, uh, a strategy is with them. And uh, so you have been with them for, uh, you know, a year and a half plus here. And I see that uh, by their confirmed and verified trading performance that uh, your strategies have done very well. And that's in capitalized very well. Uh, so walk us through that. Uh, you, you're with Timer Track and Theta Research, but they're just confirming your, your your performance, correct? But people invest or purchase your signals directly from you. Is that how it works? Yes. The uh, the Timer Track uh, is a provides a tracking service of our signals. And uh, the, our customers are getting exactly the same signals that we are uh, transmitting the timer track on a daily basis. And so that's uh, our proof statement then of what the performance is and has been uh, both uh, for new customers and, and our current customers to show them uh, if they uh, follow all the signals 100%. This is what the performance they should be getting. And it's it's a very valuable service that, in that uh, it, it documents and uh, 100% concrete showing this is what the performance has been for uh, the last 20 months. And compared to the vast majority of people out there, you know, less than 2% of the of the hedge funds uh, are able to beat the S&P 500, and we're able to show uh, that our performance can easily do that. Yeah, and uh, Timer Track and Theta Research have both been guests on our show here, Paul, so we're well familiar with them and how their system works and, and the like here. So briefly describe your trading methodology, will you, in creating the signals and and, uh, the signals generating the trades. You mentioned the put-call ratio. I'm sure there's more to it. Uh, How often do you have signals? Uh, Tell us a little more about the methodology and how it works, will you? uh, You know, I did not catch the last part of that. Make sure you speak up. Oh, I'm sorry. Just about the methodology and and how uh, how your system works. Okay, well, the methodology, without going into a lot of technical detail, is is based on uh, looking at the past history of what that index has done, and not only in terms of price, but in terms of put the call, and then combining those two together to come up with the overall parameter. So our charts look completely different from everybody else. Everybody else is plotting price versus time. We actually eliminate time, and we plot a parameter that includes both price and put-to-call ratio versus 
a second parameter that includes the frequency of the trade. By eliminating time uh, from the charts, uh, we, we have the advantage that uh, no one else has in that our, our charts are 100% uh, uh, uniform and you know they pass the, the basic rule of, uh, of engineering and science that says when you change the units you should not change the chart you shouldn't change the uh, the answer and uh, our charts uh, meet that fundamental rule of mathematics and engineering uh, no one else is, can pass that test so the, the normal chart you see in, in the financial industry uh, isn't even scientific it's just a art form that uh, uh, people are applying and there's no there's no reason why technical analysis should work and and in fact it doesn't work because uh, only two percent of the professionals using it are able to beat the s p 500 so uh so from what i hear you saying here paul you have a unique proprietary strategy that does not use fundamental analysis does not use technical analysis does not pay attention to the news it it, it has created its quantifiable um a way to looking at patterns and identifying ways that uh, particular markets move, and then you it creates signals based upon that, and you invest accordingly. Is that it? That's correct. Okay, Paul, uh, this is very interesting. Uh, you've got the Ph.D. in engineering. Uh, I certainly don't. can barely spell engineering. So uh, it's uh, difficult to understand exactly what you're talking about. Obviously, it's a black box, but it needs to be a black box. But uh, apparently, it is, uh, it is working quite well. We need to take a quick break here, Paul. Uh, again, we're talking with Dr. Paul Glantz, founder and CEO of Glantz Financial Advisors out of Troy, Michigan providing uh, portfolio management and, and trading signals for investors and other advisory firms. I'm Charlie Wright. You're listening to Strategic Investor Radio on OC Talk Radio, and we'll be right back. All right, time for our tip of the week. What do you have for us today, Charlie? Thank you, Paul. We're talking with John Kosar, Asbury Research. They provide research reports and market signals to subscribers. So, John, we're in July, and that's kind of in the middle of uh, sell in May and go away pattern. What pattern do you see going forward? What kind of advice do you have for investors? Well, this is one of the most interesting times of the year if you're looking at seasonality. And keep in mind, seasonality is simply statistics. We look at a certain asset, whether it's stocks or bonds or whatever it might be, and we see if during certain times of the year you might see the price of the asset go up or down. So the first two weeks of July, which just ended, are seasonally the two strongest weeks by far of the entire third quarter in the S&P 500 based on data going back 60 years. From there, seasonally, again, this is 60 years of data, and it's on average, you get a progressively weaker S&P 500, and that weakness actually accelerates through Labor Day and into the end of the month. So things really start to turn south statistically once we get into September. What do you think that that means for investors? Do they sell or are they just more careful? What does it mean for? No, I would look at this as a blinking yellow light on a dark road rather than a stop sign. We tell our clients is when you know there's a seasonal tendency for a certain asset to do something, take stock of what you have. See what indexes you hold. Are you holding the S&P, the Dow? And ask yourself the question, should something turn south here? Should something turn the market where it starts to go down? Where do I want to get out or what do I want to put in place so I I'm not making a decision when the pressure's on and I wake up some morning and the S&P is down 15 or 20 points or something geopolitically happened. So this is when you should really look at what you have and have an escape plan. Hopefully, you don't have to execute it, but this is when you should be planning for the worst and hoping for the best. So, John, excellent advice. Uh, for those who would like to know more, where can they go? The best place to reach out to us is go to our website. It's Asbury 
research.com, A-S-B-U-R-Y, research.com. There's a contact tab there. Send that to us right from the website, and we can offer you some sample copies and give you a little bit of information about what we do for subscribers. John, thanks for joining us today, and congratulations on that new granddaughter. Thanks, Charlie. All right, back to Charlie and his guest. Paul, thank you very much. Again, we're talking with Dr. Paul Glantz, founder and CEO of Glantz Financial Advisors, talking to us from their headquarters in Troy, Michigan. So, Dr. Paul here, uh, briefly describe the three key strategies that you currently have, will you? Okay, our, our best strategy is the, is the oil strategy, the gold strategy, and the bond strategy. We like the commodities because the commodity market for whatever reason is uh, easier to predict than the S&P 500 and it has uh, it doesn't have the disruptions of earning statements and the CEO resigning and, and other things going on it has its own unique uh, disruptions but nevertheless it, they're more predictable than the stock market is overall. So we we like uh, we uh, we do the best on, on the uh, commodities, the oil and the gold, and doing also very well in the bond market. Okay, and and tell us here um, with these three strategies, do you uh, how long do you hold your positions? Is are these uh, do you move uh, you know several in a day? Are they a week or two apart? What uh, what's the length? All of them average about sixteen trades per year. The average hold is three weeks. It can be as short as. Uh, a couple of days or one week and as long as three months. And you're investing in ETFs, so do you sometimes use uh, uh, 2X or 3X, and do you go short or do you just go to cash? We recommend going both long and short. Uh, you can trade ETFs or you can trade the futures market. It depends on the size of the account for large accounts. You want to trade the oil futures and gold futures market. And uh, what do you what do you see, Doctor Paul, as some of the misconceptions about investing with tactical management like you do through signals uh, on the part of invest, investors and even advisors? Well, uh, yeah, active management should outproduce uh, buy and hold uh, the majority of the time, and I mean the current three-year bull market, uh, it turns out that just buy and hold did very well. It's up about 30%. And so there's a great many uh, tactical uh, money managers out there that have failed to, to outproduce that. And uh, so the, the, the fallacy I see is there's a lot of uh, trading systems out there that don't work very well. And the, the customer needs to pick only the very best trading trading system and discard you know the other 99 percent of them out there if someone's advertising on the internet some kind of trading system it probably doesn't work and people should not pay attention to it well we, we we've all uh, gone down that path uh, more than once uh, uh, for many of us and uh, <laughs> could confirm what you're talking about here so, uh, Dr. Paul, a question we'd like to ask all of our guests here. What keeps you awake at night? Uh, say that again now. What keeps you awake at night? Oh, what keeps me awake at night? Okay, well, being on the wrong side of a trade uh, is what keeps most money managers awake. Uh, what we have done to, to avoid that is, uh, first of all, diversify. Uh, go in at least uh, two or three different asset classes and to select ones that move in opposite directions, then the overall drawdown becomes a lot less. And that's why we put the gold strategy with the oil strategy. It, it cut down the, the maximum drawdown by a factor of three. And uh, and therefore, you, uh, you may worry about one asset position, but the other one should be making money at the same time, so you can take uh, relief in the overall portfolio is still continuing to move up overall, and that's 
is the, 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 the one of the strategies we use to avoid keeping up at night. Also, the low-frequency trading of only trading 16 times per year also takes away from the intraday uh, trading burden and trying to watch it continuously. You don't need to. So for those who would like to know more, what should they do? Should they go directly to your website or should they go to uh, Timer Track or Theta Research? What should they do here, Dr. Paul? Well, our website is, uh, is www.glance, G-L-A-N-C-E, and L-L-C.com, and they'll give you an overview of what we're doing. Timer Track and Theta Research are good sites for shopping around to try to pre, pre, uh, select the very best strategies. And then once you select one of the, the strategy you like, you can, can then contact directly the, uh, uh, the company that's providing that service. And the, uh, th- that's what I would recommend to people is, uh, is that's the place to shop around is a competitive uh, website like that that lists competitively what each uh, asset manager is doing. Okay, and do you have uh, an email address that uh, we can uh, uh, just let people know of and in case they'd like to directly contact somebody there at your firm? Yeah, well, my email address is paul, P-A-U-L, dot glance, G-L-A-N-C-E, at glance, LLC.com. Okay. So, Dr. Paul, final words for our listeners here. Uh, well, <laughs> final words is uh, <laughs> choose your investments <laughs> very carefully, and uh, we, we recommend a uh, low to medium frequency trading strategy yeah, that's diversified. Excellent advice here. So, Dr. Paul, thank you very much for joining us today, and best of our best wishes for your and your strategy's continued success here. Thank you very much. Again, we've been talking with Dr. Paul Glantz, founder and CEO of Glantz Financial Advisors out of Troy, Michigan. You've been listening to Strategic Investor Radio on OC Talk Radio. I'm Charlie Wright. We'd love to hear from you. You can contact us at info at strategicinvestorradio.com and go to our website to hear podcasts of all of our 250-plus interviews and shows, strategicinvestorradio.com. I'm Charlie Wright, wishing you an enjoyable week and productive investing. Strategic Investor Radio is a production of OC Talk Radio and is provided for educational purposes only. Content of this program and the views of the guests should not be considered as recommendations by OC Talk Radio or investment advice from the host, Charlie Wright, or any other entity attached to this production. Investors should always consult qualified financial, investment, tax, or legal professionals prior to investing. 